pranking the teacher to pulling the fire alarm. Starting with the myth that throwing one piece of food starts a food fight. What was that for? Why'd you do that? But I need some help. This next back to school hack is for if you make a mess at school and you need to clean it up. Why get a mop when you can be a mop? Let's go, boys! Come on! Oh no! This hack just failed! Don't fall! I'll do it myself. Here we go! This worked nothing like what I saw on TikTok! Hack fail! This next myth says it's impossible to prank your teacher without getting caught. We're about to find out. There will be a pop quiz at the end of class today, so pay attention. Yes! We didn't even study pop. Whatever. While the teacher's writing on the board, I'm gonna do my first prank, which will make him have to go to the bathroom. Hey, I saw what you did. I'm gonna tell. You tell him you get a free knuckle sandwich. Okay, everyone, quiet down, quiet down. Let's get to class, all right? Um, I said the pop quiz was gonna be later, but we're gonna do it right now! What? I gotta go to the restroom! Oh, a pop quiz? This is your fault, nerd. She's the one that made him go to the bathroom. Relax, you guys, it's gonna be fine. Besides, now that he's out, it's time for my next break. When he opens the box, there'll be a surprise for him, and hopefully he doesn't mind the sticky hands. Get ready, Zamfam, because I'm about to bust this myth. Okay, everyone, quick update. The bathroom is out of commission for the rest of the day. It has nothing to do with me, though. It has everything to do with him. Wait, what's this? Uh, someone dropped it off for you. Oh, it must have been Miss Kathy, the math teacher. That's so nice. Oh! <laughs> that was not nice. And now my hands are all dirty. Oh, he's getting the hand sanitizer. This is gonna be even better. You know, you guys need to learn some manners. You need to... What is this? What's going on with my hands? <laughs> Over here and help me or you all get detention. Everyone up, I'm not missing football. Time for my next prank. You over here, one, one two, three. If he doesn't like the stickiness, he's definitely not gonna like the smell. Get out of here, nerd, I got it. I just set up a fart machine and when I push this button, you are gonna hear it and smell it. Okay, guys, that's enough for <laughs> Uh, Like I said, uh, Mozart, uh, he was very popular. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what's gotten into me. I hear it, but I don't smell anything. Something must be wrong. Uh, I dropped my pencil. I'm just going to pick it up. Sorry. The smell's not coming out. He doesn't smell anything. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. oh I put the fan wrong way. Oh, it smells oh. like death. Uh, Wait a minute. A fart machine? Uh, You've been the one pranking me all day. Uh, what? Detention. Uh, oh, no. Myth confirmed. <laughs> this next hack is for if you want to change your grade before you show your parents. I got an F because I was busy pranking the teacher. Now I'm going to change it. So all you need is a piece of tape. Press the tape firmly on the letter. And the grade is gone. Now that the grade is gone, all you have to do is use a matching pen and turn that F into an A. Just like that, you just got an A+. This hack actually works. Just make sure your parents don't actually read the answers. This myth says that football protect your head. And we're about to find out with these water balloons when I throw them at a watermelon with a helmet on. Let's see if this myth is true. The helmet worked with water balloons, but now we're going to test it off a balcony. Matt had soda cans in the helmet, and he's going to drop it from the balcony. Get out of the way! You ready to do some arm wrestling? Yeah. Hope you don't mind losing to a girl. Okay. <gasps> Ready to lose to a girl. Go! 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 This myth is busted. 
stronger than I thought. This myth says that wearing glasses makes you smarter, so I'm gonna compete against this fifth grader with glasses and without. This is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Question one, what is the longest river in the US? I hope I can spell this one. Reveal your answers. It's the M I double S I double S I P P I. The answer is the Missouri River. What? I'm in fifth grade, duh. What do you call a scientist that studies rocks? I hope I can spell this right. Reveal your answers. It's not geometry, but it's a geologist! Correct answer is geologist. I can't believe he actually got that right. Same. Question three. One inch is equal to how many centimeters? I definitely know this one. You're going down fifth grader, and I haven't even put on my glasses yet. It's not a tree, but it's three! What? Oh! The answer is 2.54. Everyone knows that. I'm putting on my glasses. This is about to change everything. Get ready, fifth grader, because you're going down. Well, it can't get much worse for her. I'm about to prove that this myth is true. All I have to do is get two right, and I've proven it. What is the capital of New York? New York City. Only a fifth grader would fall for that fifth grader without glasses. Good luck, four eyes. I don't need luck, two eyes. Ha, 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 ha. The correct answer is Albany. Oh! I am smarter with these glasses. You would say that. You're just jealous that I'm smarter than a fifth grader. What is the most abundant element in the universe? Easy now that I've got my glasses on. Would you like a little agua? Correct answer is hydrogen. Water, it's like 70% of the world. Water's a compound, not an element. I don't even know what that means. Who is the author of the 1960s novel, To Kill a Mockingbird? It's been a while since I've read this, but these glasses do help. Reveal your answers. The correct answer is Harper Lee. What? Oh! It looks like you are not smarter than a fifth grader. You know what, fine, this myth is busted. Maybe you should Hemingway back to your seat. What does that even mean? I that's why she lost. This myth says you burn 26 calories per minute kissing someone, which means instead of having to do PE in school, you could just kiss someone. I have this watch that tracks calories, and we're gonna find out if this is true. What you need me here for? <sighs> myth busted. Myth busted. Is this the one about kissing? You have to kiss on the lips for no, a minute. No. Yeah, come here. no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Myth busted. It was gonna work. Oh my god. Oh. I hate PDA. This next hack is for if you have to take a test and you need a little outside help. This test is over the solar system. You have 15 minutes. Begin. I don't know the solar system. This test is gonna be so easy. Hey, nerd, what'd you get for number two? Hey, I'm not gonna tell you. Excuse me, what happens if I didn't have time to study last night because I was on a date with my boyfriend? What happens is you take the test. It's not my fault I'm popular. Okay, Zamfam, so what you do is you have an AirPod, you tape it on your wrist. Hopefully you don't have to use this, but how many moons does the Earth have? One. How long does it take for the Earth to orbit the sun? A year, duh. Which planet in our solar system is the largest? Um, I guess I should ask that again. Which planet in our solar system is the largest? Jupiter. Jupiter? <clears throat> what is the name of the galaxy we live in? Are you asking me? Oh, uh, no, no, I just like to read my questions out loud to really help it soak in. Okay, well, keep it down. What is the name of the galaxy we live in? The Milky Way. How far away is the moon from Earth? Oh no, the music playing through the AirPods. I need to disconnect it. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Wait, what? wait, do you hear that music? What? No. What is that? No, I don't hear it. No, 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 no. Hey! Wait, what is that? I don't know how that got there. That's an AirPod. You were cheating. Detention. Oh. Wait, now it's playing through my phone on speaker. Where's it coming from? Oh no. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. The music. Wait, what is, what is this? You! You're giving her the answers! I don't know who you are, it's detention! That hack did not work and now I have detention! That's what you get for cheating. This myth says it's impossible to fit in a school locker and I'm about to bust this myth. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah! Myth busted! Hey! Uh, can someone get me out though? I'm stuck! Hey! I'm out! This next hack is for if you want to fall asleep in class but not get caught. So I printed out a picture of me and I've got glasses here. I am just gonna cut the eyeballs out. Voila, let's see if this hack actually works. <sighs> All right, back to history class. Hey, no sleeping in class. Be like Rebecca, she's wide awake. Thank you, Rebecca, I really appreciate it. Back to the anatomy of the bison in the early frontier times. <laughs> Oh, that hack actually worked! I wanna sleep in class, give me those. I don't know if those are gonna work. This next myth says that if a teacher catches a student asleep in class, they will prank them. Uh, teacher? Yes? He took my glasses! He's asleep! Time for a teacher prank. Oh, oh, oh my 
my gosh. He's not waking up. He will now. <laughs> ah! oh. Pop quiz. Everyone with a mustache fails. Smith confirms. What are you staring at, four eyes? This hack is for if you're in school and you have to memorize something. Okay, class, you have one minute to memorize this sentence. Whoever memorizes the least will get an extreme punishment. The first step in this memorization hack is to read the sentence in your head. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Next, you want to read it out loud. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to memorize this. Next, you want to close your eyes and say the sentence out loud. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Weirdo. And finally, you want to write the sentence down. All right, time's up. What? No, I didn't get to finish the last step. Okay, oldest first. Rebecca, you are up. The quiet brown fox jumped over a little small dog. Okay, next. Sam how did that go? Did I get it right? I might have missed a few things, but hopefully other people do too. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Very good, next. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Excellent, who's next? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Very good, okay, after tallying up the contest, here's who got the most letters wrong. Duck, 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 goose. What? Street punishment. No! Pull the fire alarm. What? No. Oh, no. yeah, here we go. Zambia, <laughs> <laughs> do not try that at home. You are such a wimp. What? Oh. oh, my God. And that's what he gets. Hey, you guys want to see this next hack? It's pretty cool. So you see that this is just like a regular marker. But it's boring. You guys want something exciting, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can basically color on the Sharpie. So I make this side blue, take the green, and I do it on this side. Watch this. It's Ooh. a rainbow colored Z. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this cool? Wow, Zam Fam, this actually worked. This is a normal pink boring pen, but now it is a rainbow pen. You guys did your markers? Now go ahead, draw on the paper. Look at that, Zam Fam. Oh, that's like a teal. Now stand back, I'm going to take a quick photo for my Snapchat. There we go. That is awkward. What? This myth is confirmed. What? Wait, wait. Hey! Hey, hey. hey you boys want to take yeah. your yeah. Okay, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. You three detention. What? I expected more from you, Zamolo. This is all your fault, boys. <gasps> For sure. This next myth says that a girl's dress code is more strict than a boy's dress code. Okay, young lady, that is a violation of a dress code. Your skirt is too short. What? Why? Put, put your hands down. Okay. See, your fingers go past your skirt. That's a detention. Really? <laughs> you got detention. Yep. Wait, his hands are way longer than his shorts. Put your hands down. Nope, he's good. Okay, good job, young man. Have a good day at school. His arms were bent. Detention for you. This myth is confirmed. <laughs> this myth says that your dog will eat your homework. And I didn't do mine, so Blackjack, I need you to eat it. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Don't lick it. Eat it. I gotta tell the teacher you ate my homework. You know what? This myth is busted. Okay, troublemakers, welcome to detention. But guess what? I'm a nice guy. So the first two people to write the words I am sorry ten times will get to leave. Go! Zampan, this next hack is for if you want to write something multiple times at once. Take ten pencils, duct tape them together, and then you only have to write it once instead of writing it ten times. Like that. Here we go. Took a little longer than expected, but it'll all be worth it. I done. What? Am done. Sorry. Okay, let me check. Okay, good. Ten. Okay, all right, ten. Okay, gentlemen, you can leave detention. Hey! Looks like it's you and me, Zamolo. I got you. This hack is busted! Time for public speaking class. Rebecca, you're up first. Me? Uh What's that beeping noise? Oh, it's uh, my heart rate monitor. It must be because I'm nervous. Boring. Okay, well you better get it together if you wanna pass this class. For this next myth, it says if you imagine the class in their underwear, it'll help you be less nervous. Hopefully this works. Hurry up, this is boring. Uh, <laughs> this is awkward, but I feel a little less nervous. My name is Rebecca and something I am proud of 
is my new merch at RebeccaZamolo.com. I actually have a few things, you see? This backpack that just launched with a whole bunch of back to school items and this is the newest thing. It is a Zamfam diary. It is really fuzzy and I love it so much and you can get it at RebeccaZamolo.com. Wow, great speech, very <laughs> confident. My heart rate went down, myth confirmed. This next hack is if you wanna make food in class. Just put up a little binder and a little crock pot. I brought some ramen, add the water. <clears throat> I don't wanna get in trouble, but I really want a hot meal right now. Now you turn the crock pot to high, cause you gotta make this fast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And voila, I just made ramen in class. Mmm, this up is amazing. Wait, what is that? Is that a crock pot? That's detention. Gotta go. <laughs> this myth says if you touch a frog in science class, you'll get a war. Hey, froggy frog. Ah! Oh, it's a hopper. Mr. Frog, I'm not gonna touch you. I'm gonna kiss you, and we're gonna see if I get a wart on my lip. Mm. And voila, I do not have a wart. Oh, something itches though. Ah, something's itchy, Zamfam. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Ah! The frog might not have given me warts, but it definitely gave me an allergic reaction. Make busted. I need to see the school nurse. <gasps> School myth says that if you bring gum to school, everyone will take it. Hey, can I have a piece? Sure. It helps me think. Hey, can I have some gum too? I have to kiss my boyfriend later and I can't have bad breath. Sure. Thanks. Okay, well I have one more piece left. And that's what I needed, thank you. What? That was my last piece! Myth is confirmed. But good thing, I've got a whole nother No pack. gum in school! Hey, now I'm the one with bad breath! This next hack for if you want to sneak candy into class. What you need is a Pringles container, some scissors, and some paper. And I'm gonna cut the bottom of this, and I'm gonna add this around it, and voila. Look inside is my candy, but no one's gonna know, because it's a pencil holder. Let's say I wanna have some candy, but I don't want anyone to see it. This act definitely works, and they won't be stealing my candy like they stole my gum. This next hack is for if you wanna cheat on a test. Blow up a balloon, and you put your answers on it, and then, <laughs> It shrinks down tiny, and you use this tape, and supposedly, if you put it on here, it will rub off, and <gasps> voila, the answers. Now you're supposed to put this on your nail so they can't read it, but I just got my nails done, so I'm gonna go right here. Time to see if this hack actually works. I mean, there's no way a teacher's gonna see this. Okay, everyone, if you're ready for the math test, give me a thumbs up. You bet I am. You bet I am. Wait, what was that? What? What was what? that? No, your other hand. What? No. Let me see that. What is that? What is that? Hey! No, 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 must have got stuck to my hand. An answer key. You're trying to cheat. I'm watching you. That hack might not have worked, but there is no way I'm failing this test. I printed out an extra copy of the answer key, and I have this eraser right here, except it's not an eraser. I'm just gonna put the test inside, fold it, and they'll never know that I am cheating by using this eraser. So let me just start on my test. Now let's see what the answer is for question number Number one. You gotta wear your uh, eraser. What? Uh, I didn't know. That's an answer key. Hey! Give me the answer. No, no, are you kidding me? I need I, this. No, I I'm gonna fail the test. Teacher, are you teacher, me? they're cheating. Wait, what? What's going on here? Yeah. Wait, wait, what is that? What is that? Another answer key? That's a detention. <laughs> You know what, maybe I knew these hacks weren't gonna work. I just had to show you guys so you would know not to cheat. And Zadie, if you're watching, don't cheat because now I have to go to detention. This next back to school hack is for if you wanna get an A in science class. And Zadie, you've been watching these, but now you get to see it in person, okay? I made slime with glue, water, contact solution, and metal filings. I'm gonna show you guys how to get an A. I cannot believe that one day soon you're gonna be in school. Today I'm testing 24 summer hacks versus myths with my daughter. We're gonna be driving a car underwater, flying over water, and even making this watermelon explode using dry ice to show you the most epic summer hacks. But first, let's test the myth that 100 bath bombs will make this balloon explode. All 100 bath bombs are in this balloon, and now let's fill it up with water. Starting to fill up, you guys. This is a six foot water balloon, so if it explodes, it's gonna be huge. Is this myth true or are we busting it? There's no more space left. Where is it gonna go? Oh man, oh man, oh god. I don't think this is gonna work. This myth is bust. Ah! Oh my god, that myth 
pushed through, and if you thought that was epic, just wait for the other myths and hacks that we are gonna test. This ever hack is for a remote control floaty for your baby. So what you have to do is turn it on, and then push it. Whoa, look at it, it's floating. Zadie is in her car, and now, Dad's gonna remote control drive her. Let's go, Zadie, you ready? Woo! Zadie! I think Zadie is liking it. Drive, 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 drive. This is great training for when Zadie turns 16 and drives a car in real life. Let's give this one a thumbs up. Yep, thumbs up like Zay. She's gonna get me! This myth says it's impossible to drive a car underwater. We're about to find out if that's true. Whoa! Bouncing bubbles. You guys know Zadie loves bubbles, and these ones are supposed to bounce, so you can just bounce them off your hands. To make these bouncing bubbles, all you need to have is water, some dish soap, and some sugar. Put the sugar directly in here. Now let's add the soap. Ooh. Now we gotta mix it. You ready for bouncing bubbles? It's all mixed up. Now we're gonna pour it back into here. Let's see if these work. They're bouncing. Oh. Zadie, look. Oh. Bounce, 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 bounce. She likes it. But if you let your daughter touch it, she, she will destroy, destroy it. Bubble. Ah! You did it. You found it. This summer hack actually works, and I'm giving it a thumbs up. This myth says that you can make a DIY hovercraft. Let's find out. Maddie, I need your help. Now it's time to prank Matt. Matt, I made this DIY hovercraft and it flies over anything. So you're telling me this thing's gonna float over water? Yeah, Maddie did it to me and it works. It's so cool. You ready? I always wanted to do this. Okay, so all you have to do is push and then I'm gonna push you. Here we go. Here we go. Are you kidding me? Everyone knows it doesn't fly over water. What kind of hovercraft is that? Checking another prank off the list. This myth says that it takes five balloons to stop an arrow. We're gonna find out if that's true. Whoa! Now that I've done that, it's time for group challenge number one. We're gonna see who can pop the most balloons with the bow and arrow. Whoever wins the most group challenges gets to be the one that explodes the watermelon at the end. I hit two balloons, Maddie. You're up next. Let's go, Maddie! Got one. One's less than two. And less than one. I'm gonna get. Lego, my ego. After all of us shooting our bows and arrow, it looks like this myth is busted. But I just won challenge number one. This myth says that a fan can chop off your finger, and we're about to find out if this is true with this fruit right here. This fruit salad's gonna start with some strawberries. All right. Oh! It's slicing it. Good. This summer hack is for those people that love popsicles because this is a giant popsicle. Now I have tried to make a giant popsicle in the past and it has failed, but I am confident with this hack that it will work. Well, he's pretty confident. You guys know I'm not really good at DIYs. So all you wanna do, pour your favorite soda in here. One down, I'll be recycling that, don't worry. Ah! That could have not ended well. Soda number two. You're probably wondering, how does the stick stay? Oh, it's gonna be tilted. No. Use the tape to hold up the stick. It needs reinforcement. Wow, look at that. There is no way that this thing is moving at all. Now it's time to take it into the freezer. We are back and about to find out if this summer hack worked. Oh, I hear something. Some of the juice is coming out, but a giant popsicle. 
Oh my gosh, this is so good. So if your mom asks you if you had a popsicle, you can say, oh, uh, yeah, I only had one. I'm giving this hat a big summer thumbs up. Uh, be careful, it's heavy. This next summer hack is supposed to give you abs with just using sunscreen. So I am going to take off Matt's fake abs and replace them with these ones. Good thing Matt is a deep sleeper. The sunscreen's also removing the Sharpie. We'll find out later if this works. This summer hack is a jello watermelon, which I have seen on TikTok and it looks like a delicious treat. Zadie likes watermelon already, but she's never had it with jello. What you are going to want to do is have a ton of fruit, cut out your watermelon like Zadie and I already have. Zadie's eating the lid. Good thing we don't need that. And we're gonna make some jello. Whoa. Mix, mix, mix. Now that the jello is set, we are gonna add fruit to the watermelon. Strawberries. And your favorite, Zadie, well, they were blueberries. I'm thinking she likes watermelon more now. Okay. You know what, we're moving faster, Zadie. Now that the fruit's to the top, I'm just gonna mix it up a little. It is about to get even better. I was gonna put the lid on, but I don't think I will anymore. Now it's time to pour in the jello. Auntie Maddie's here to help. Maddie, you know I'm not good with DIYs. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh, okay, going in, going in. Look at that. This looks so good. Okay, I'm stopping there. Now that this is all set, we're gonna put it in the fridge for four hours, and then we're gonna have jello watermelon, hopefully. It's been four hours. And now it's time to see if the watermelon jello works. Can't believe that we are gonna be exploding one of these later in the video. Ooh, it looks good. Now it's time to cut this open, but I need some help. Help has arrived. I think this worked. I'm very nervous, and I am not good with knives, so I'm really glad you're doing this. Did I actually make jello? Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I bet it tastes delicious, so I'm gonna get a spoon. It might not look the best, you guys, but mmm. Zadie, would you like to try a bite? Maybe a blueberry. This is actually very delicious, and even though it looks like it failed, I'm giving this summer hack a big thumbs up. Zadie, can you give the thumbs up? Yeah! Thumbs up from Zadie, too. Zadie doesn't mind that it looks a little messy. She's still proud of her mom. Oh, wow. We definitely have a fan of this hack. We might need to keep her away from this for a while. This is group challenge number two, where we're gonna be testing this summer hack, which is a water balloon launcher. How to make this is just with a workout band and some duct tape. Now we have the water balloons, and closest to the RZ heart wins. I'm going first. Wish me luck, because I want to win this challenge. Three, two, one. Can we do best out of three? This thing doesn't work. There's no way you guys are gonna hit that wall. That looked a little high. Still good. Here we go. See how Matt does it. Still not even close to the Zamfam wall. Oh! Direct hit! You watch out for this! Go, go, go! I'm exploding the watermelon! Come on, Maddie, it's up to you! Time to beat Matt! <laughs> it didn't even launch! That's not the slingshot's fault. No way I'm letting him win another challenge. This summer hack says if you want an easier way to get a swim cap on your head, all you have to do is fill it with water and drop it. Let's see if it works. Ow. Let me try again. I just need to be a little bit higher. Ow. Left side's my stronger side. Ah. This might be the easier way. Ah. This hack is a fail. This next summer hack is for if you have to go to the bathroom at the beach. I would suggest using a restroom or even the ocean, but this hack is supposed to work. Take a bucket and a plastic bag, you dig a hole, and you go there, and people aren't gonna notice. Now, I am not going to do that right now, but what I am gonna do is prank Matt. I have this yellow liquid, and if I can successfully pour this in the bucket without him noticing, then this hack definitely works. I'm encouraging you guys not to try this at the beach, even if it does work. Maybe you get wet sand, it'll probably make that a lot easier. Now that this hack is set up, let's see if it works. Hey Matt. What are you doing? I'm doing a summer hack. It's where you just like rub your skin 10 times and then it repels sand. So, so you have to rub it? Yep, yeah, just keep rubbing, Seven, eight, keep nine, rubbing, eight. and oh! Let's try it out, it doesn't work. No, but this hack definitely did! Whoa! What did you pee in the bucket? It's a summer hack and it actually That's works. all your pee inside of it. This summer hack is if you want a candy popsicle. All you have to do is add your favorite candy and some corn syrup and put it in a fridge. 
Now, for the Skittles in. Now that the Skittles are all in, I'm going to add the corn syrup. Oh, look at that. Oozing. Mm -hmm. Now that it's ready, I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for a few hours, so stick around to see if this summer hack works, and if it does, we're doing a group challenge. This summer hack says that you can melt chocolate in the sun and make fondue. And we're gonna see if it actually works with this Feastables Mr. Beast bar. Let's do it. Okay, Zam fam, let me know if you think this is going to actually work. Also, have you tried a Feastables bar before? Now we wait. And you guys, it looks like it worked. And now it is time for another group challenge. This is group challenge number three, the chocolate fondue challenge. Each of us is going to pick an item, dip it in chocolate, and eat it. The first one to get the strawberry wins. I'm going first. Please say like watermelon. I'll take strawberry so I can win this. Or, oh God, a hot dog? Gross. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, it might actually taste good, you never know. Oh yeah, I bet this is gonna taste good. Do you want no! it? No! I'll never eat a hot dog. Okay, well I need to win this challenge, so. I mean it. Is it cooked? I don't know if it's cooked or if it's just been sitting out. Honestly, not terrible. Maddie, you're up. All right. You want a dog? <laughs> no, I do not want a hot dog. I'm gonna get the strawberry. Get it. Oh! oh! You have to be kidding me. I hate pickles. That's what you get for making fun of my dog. Dip it good, Maddie. Zam Bam, you guys know Maddie hates pickles, but maybe you'll like pickles with chocolate. Oh, all the juice, all the juice. Do not like pickles with chocolate. All right, Matt, good luck. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Strawberry right here. <laughs> Onion. If, all sides the same. If you like this, I am definitely concerned. You can just drop out, Matt, be out of this challenge. I'm never dropping out. You're eating it? Are you gonna swallow it? How is he making no face? Please be the strawberry. Cheese, okay. I don't hate that. It's not bad, right? No, this is your turn. That taste. Not great. Come on, Maddie, get a strawberry. You haven't won you any yet. Strawberry. You can win this. <laughs> okay, it's not a strawberry, but Lame. it's not bad. Chocolate that covered banana is good. That's good. You like that one. Let's go, Matt. I have proved I can eat anything with chocolate. Don't Maybe get the straw. Oh my god. <laughs> Onion again. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to be the one that explodes that watermelon. Clearly, you're doing anything. Oh, it's on your face. I can't take any more weird food combinations for the chocolate fondue. So this one. <gasps> I did it. Come on. Oh. No Who's exploding a watermelon with dry ice today? And this is the victory bite. Mm. This myth says it's impossible to balance on a beach ball, and we're about to find out. But not with this beach ball, with this giant seven foot beach ball! Let's go, Matt! Oh, it looks like that myth is true. Come on, I was about to have a ball. <laughs> It's been a few hours. Let's see if this summer hack works. Oh my gosh, it worked! Mm, looks like we're doing a group challenge. This is group challenge number four. Last to get brain freeze wins. And if I win this one, I'm gonna be one step closer to exploding that watermelon. There Whoa. are still more group challenges, Matt. Don't get too confident. We're gonna take turns pulling a dare from this bowl, and you either have to do the dare or take a bite of your frozen candy popsicle. Looks like I'll pull first. Reveal the last photo on your camera roll. Honestly, I kind of wanted to try this anyways. Here we go. Okay. Mmm. Oh, oh. cold though. Oh, oh. Delicious, but super cold. I'll pull the next one. Cut your hair. No. This is extreme. I'll take brain freeze. No one wants to cut their hair. I'll do it. I'll cut my hair. Really? You want to win the challenge that bad? Yeah. You cut your hair? No. I want to make that watermelon explode. Let's go. Oh, I got a frozen one. Cut it. No, Maddie, Maddie. No, no. no. Just do brain freeze. Oh. I cut my hair. It is not worth it for a challenge. I'm gonna pop oh one of these gosh. up here. They've been bugging me for a while. Oh, too. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Ew. 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 I'm in it to win it. Remove two layers of clothing. You told us to be barefoot, Rebecca. Did I? Your uh, shoes on. Oopsies. I could have sworn that I took mine off. Come I guess on. I'll just count my shoes as one layer and my socks as one layer. So lame. I don't have two layers to remove, so. Don't get brain freeze. Don't get, uh, why are you shaking? <laughs> okay. That's a layer, but I counted both of my shoes as a layer. I don't have any underwear on. Oh, no, 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 Matt, just get brain freeze on this. Awesome. I'm gonna give that summer hack a thumbs up. Summer hack. Whoa! Got a sunburn. In the shape of abs. They're so hard that they sunburn that way. We're gonna keep going. Hot feet and bucket of manure. 
I'm doing it. Fine, then I'm doing it too. I have to win this challenge. I am not letting Matt. Why are you doing push ups? I have my shirt on. It's manure. Come on. One small step for man and a second giant step for man. Oh God, it smells so bad. Does it smell? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm doing it. Kind of satisfied right now. Ah! How long do we have to do this? Maddie, go. I can't, it smells too bad. Whoa! Maddie, you were like shaking the last time. I don't know if you can handle cold. But I am not putting my feet in that. Just do it quick. Squeeze so the bottom, squeeze out. the bottom. I think I'm not going for you. Are you getting out? Are you officially saying that you are out of this challenge? I'm out of the challenge. Oh, thank God. One down. One to go. Reveal last text on phone. Do it. Okay, fine. The results are positive. Who's this from? That's it. Okay, I did it. I don't have to have this. Matt, go. I'm not going to show you what's on my phone. Are you sure? Why won't you just show what's on it? I I'm just never did. showing. Oh, so satisfying. Ew, Matt, that's a lot. You know how cold that is? Mm. Oh, do you have brain freeze? Oh, no. I did oh, it. I don't have brain freeze. That oh. means that I won the oh. challenge. Looks like Rebecca Zamolo is coming back and is about to explode a watermelon. Oh. This summer hack says if you get a noodle and two zip ties, you can put it together and use it to teach your daughter how to swim. I have the zip ties on the noodle and we're gonna see if this actually works. Woo! Now put your hand through. And then, can you kick? Oh, she's kicking. Good girl. Wow, Zadie. Kick, kick, kick. Zadie, can you do thumbs up? Good girl! Woo! These next two myths say that hot drinks and spicy foods will cool your body down because it makes you sweat. And we are gonna vote if we think that's true or not. Going with false. It's working. Not working. Whoever's wrong has to do a punishment. Matt, get to running. What Matt doesn't know is that if he guesses wrong, his punishment is gonna be one of the pranks. I'm gonna prove that this myth is true. He's <sighs> really getting into this right now. Okay, Maddie, take his temperature. What does it say? 97.7. Now, Matt, drink this giant cup of Zamfam oh. hot chocolate, which you can get at RebeccaZamolo.com. Drink up. There's no way this is going to work. Me. 94.4. Ice works. He does it. I feel better. This summer hack says if you want a safe place to float with your baby, you can take six of these and turn it into this. It's gonna keep us very safe. Whoa, it's floating away. It doesn't look like Zadie likes this. Zadie, looks like it wasn't fun for you, but now mom's gonna try. Honestly, it's kind of claustrophobic in here. Feels like an echo chamber. Get out of there, Beck. I want to try it. What? Get out of there. Oh no. This hack. This myth says you can lift more weight underwater. So for this group challenge, whoever lifts the most weight underwater wins. We're gonna start on the land. I'll go first. 105 pounds. That's easy. Three, two, one. one. Oh, oh. Oh, you got oh. it. Oh. Can't wait to be underwater. Who's up? Oh. 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 That's how you do it, guys. Ow! 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 Oh, my foot! Oh, I dropped the weight on your foot. <laughs> Man, you oh. are. Come on. <laughs> that was so easy. Another prank jumped off the list. Okay, come on, Maddie. Look at it. I'll show you how it's done. Come on, Maddie. Oh, oh. like it's nothing. Come wow. on. Wow. Looks like Matt had some competition. Let's take it to the water. Whoever lifts the most weight wins. I'll go first. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I lifted it up that time. Did you see that? That means this myth is true. Maddie, you got this. Goggles. Goggles. Not a word. I'm ready to win. Come on, Maddie. Oh, she's serious. Lift it up One, two, four. three, four, five. Oh! What? Matt! That's easy. All right. You got to beat five. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Four. Oh! Green. That is completely not true, and I'm gonna prove you wrong right now. Good luck. Oh. 
What Matt doesn't know is I'm about to do another prank on him and make sure his hair turns green. <gasps> I can't believe you're doing this to Matt. Okay, Matt. See, told you, I'm fine. Okay, well let's dry it off and see if it is or not. We're gonna find out if this myth is true or not. It is so lame. Oh my God, it's true. What? Oh my gosh, Matt! What? Do you think Zadie's gonna recognize me? All right, Zam Bam, it looks like this myth is confirmed, but Matt, there's a hack that can take out green hair. My hair's not even that blonde, I don't get it! I just completed my last prank, which means one of you subscribers gets to win an iPhone, so stay tuned because we're also gonna see a watermelon explode. This summer hack says that Kool-Aid lemonade will take the chlorine out of your hair, so hopefully this works on Matt and his hair won't be green. Yeah, come on, I need this hack! Did it work? Did it work? I think it did. Why is there green on my finger? What? Rebecca? No! no. Rebecca! I'm getting you right now! Get over here! This summer myth says if you put dish soap on a slip and slide, you'll go further. So we're all gonna take turns slipping and sliding. Let's go! Now it's time for dish soap. This is the last and final group challenge. Furthest this slide wins. Matt and I are both tied, so whoever wins this gets to explode that watermelon. Let's go! Maddie is up first. She slid up to here without dish soap, and we're about to find out if dish soap will make her slide farther. Let's go, Maddie! You got this! This looks like the winner's area over here, and it looks like dish soap does actually make you go further. This is it, Sam Fim. I have to beat Matt's distance if I want to win, and I'm gonna do it. Let's go! Go! Rebecca, you didn't even make it to the end of the slip and slide. It looks like I am gonna be exploding that watermelon. Maybe that's for the best, because this watermelon experiment is extreme and not always safe. Finally, this summer myth says that if you put dry ice in a watermelon, it will explode. Since Matt won the most group challenges, he gets to be the one to put the dry ice in. But Zam Fam, do not try this at home. How scared are you right now, Matt? Very scared. Okay, as soon as I do this, everybody run to the back. Get my gloves on. Yeah. You cannot touch dry ice with bare hands, just so you guys know. This is a big experiment. Where are your glasses? Oh no. Maddie! I'm running. Point it in. Oh my gosh. We have dry ice starting. Okay. okay. It's getting up pretty big. Wow, it's smoking. You it's better smoking. get ready to run back. Go, come on! Go, 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 go! Oh my god, I'm so nervous right now. Oh, it's getting close. I get the lid on all the way, and you go check it. No, no, no! Yep. Don't, 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 right, don't, 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 Matt. You can hear it hissing. Matt, just leave it. Just leave it. Okay, we're in the clear, we're in the clear. Okay, okay. We need a new bottle. I don't know if this is going to explode, but if it does, it's gonna be so massive. I'm thinking this might not work, Zamfam. I don't know, what do you think? It's building up pressure right now, you guys. Man, you're that scared? <laughs> not hearing anything is actually even more terrifying. <laughs> ah, Matt, stop, that's not funny right now. This anticipation is killing me. Oh my god! It worked! Yes! Yes! It exploded through the gate onto my leg! What the heck? Today I'm surviving holiday shopping on one penny, but I had no idea what I got myself into. This is my daughter Sadie, and it's going to be her first Christmas, and I want her to know what the holidays are all about, which is why I have until 8 p.m. to get her the perfect $500 gift, but I only have a penny to start with. Are you ready? Let's get this challenge started. If I want to get Sadie that $500 gift, I have to figure out how to make this penny into something much more, which is why I'm here at the mall. This is April Claw Lane. I was here with Disney princesses. I only have a penny. Could I exchange something? If you can show me a trick, I will give you this dollar. Woo! Oh, amazing! Yeah? You get a dollar. 
Okay, there, that's for you. See, fam, that was so easy. I have a dollar, and now I need to turn this one dollar into at least ten dollars. I hid something in Rebecca's jacket. I wonder if she's gonna find it. Hey, hi. I was wondering if you wanted to rock, paper, scissors for a dollar. What if I give you three dollars to make a video for my friend? Deal. What's her name? Elon. Elon. Hi, hey. what are you here with? Hey, Elon, it's Rebecca Zamolo. I just met your friend and she said that you watch my videos. Thank you so yeah. much for being part of the Zam Fam. Thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you very much. Bye. This is going so easy. I've already made $4, but I just realized. Zam Fam, you guys remember last time I signed up for Rover. I can just walk dogs so I can get the $500 for Zadie. My Rover app expired? That means I have to make $35 again if I want to sign up for it. $35, game on. Would you like to see a trick for a dollar? Go ahead. Can I take the dollar? Yes. I'm making this disappear. Through my head, comes out my mouth. It hurt. It hurt? Don't hurt yourself. It's just money. Oh, wow, it came out of my mouth. Did I earn it? It's yours. Thank you so much. I can't believe that trick worked. Again. Anyone want to play rock, paper, scissors? Anybody? Everyone is trying to ignore me right now. Hey, you'll play? You got five dollars? You do? If I win, I get yours, but if you win, you get mine. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, show! Okay, you know what? One more try. If I get it though, I get all your money. Rock, paper, scissors, show! Yes! I just won it! Zandy! Can you believe it? I just earned 10 more dollars, which I have an idea. I have my Zamfam hot chocolate. I can use this $10 to buy hot water from Starbucks. If I sell seven hot chocolates, then I'll have $35 and I'll be able to sign up for Rover. Boom, I got my waters. Now all I have to do is make the Zamfam hot chocolate. Now that I'm at the park, I am mixing the hot chocolate for people to get and I'm gonna hopefully sell these for $5. If you have not gotten your hot chocolate, go to Zamfam.com, get a three pack, cause they're all delicious. Zamfam hot chocolate is officially open for business. Would you guys like hot chocolate? I love the hot chocolate. Yeah? Can I have four? All of them, really? All of them. Thank you Are so these, much. Uh, Starbucks? They're Zam Fam. It's okay. my new hot chocolate line, but they're really good. They're even better than Starbucks. I'm gonna try them. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Hot chocolate? I'll take some. How many would you like? Uh, I have three, three left. Perfect, I needed three. I don't have change right now. I think you can take it. Are you sure? Yeah, that's fine. Really? Yeah, for me and my friends. <laughs> thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much. I have the money and now I can renew my application for Rover. And I'm in, Zamfam. I can't believe we did it. Making money is so easy. I'm definitely gonna be able to get this gift. Not just text me. Emergency at the warehouse. This challenge is on pause. I gotta get to the warehouse. What's the emergency? This is reset challenge number one. It's not even an emergency. Nope. Inside one of these mystery presents is two hundred and fifty dollars. But beware, inside another one is a reset challenge back to one penny. Don't choose the wrong box. How many swings do I get? Five. I'm going with this one, Zamfam. Three, two. Wait. Before I do, make sure. You are subscribed, turn on notifications, click all. If you did all that, come on, Penny Squad. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh my god! Brush your teeth with coal? Sounds like a punishment! Oh, this is not uh, uh. Oh my god! Maybe you should wash up before you start doing this again. This is terrible! It tastes so minty. Oh, come on, Rebecca! I only get four hits left, so I gotta be smart. This, no, no, no. this don't, might don't, have the $250. Don't. Please don't Three, do that one. Two, I'm doing it! Please don't do that one! Stop, 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 stop! Did you not hear that? What was it? What? It's an iPad. You just broke it! A brand new iPad? Come on! Take it a little easier. What? Easy. No, of course I'm not oh gonna take it! Oh my god! Stop! 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 What are you doing in that box? You not promise me $20 if I got in the box, but you would tell me that it's gonna oh, be a bad. Oh, oh, oh. No pay up! You did that for 20 bucks? Yes, I did it for 20 bucks. Money well spent. Rebecca, you have two more tries to get the $250. Don't do the green one. I'm doing the green one, obviously. Better not to be a reset, but I have a feeling that Matt is trying to get me not to do this, because this is the money, so I am going to do it right now! Is that the money? Eat condiment gingerbread cookie? Punishment! It's gonna be so fun to do this together. <laughs> Your punishment, not mine. Cousin love. Enjoy the condiment. Tis the I season. love gingerbread cookies and there's ketchup. Ooh. Oh, it's so raw. Oh, it's I hate mayo, I hate mayo, I'm gonna go wash my mouth. It's oh. all the condiments. This is it, your last chance to win $250. Don't take the wrong box. Okay, Maddie. Three, two, what? Ah! 250. 
No! We won $250. Now you're back to one penny. Everything was going so good until this challenge. Thanks a lot, guys. Wow, Matt, nice challenge for her. Pretty cool, huh? Zade, I'm so sorry, but mommy lost all of the money we made. Hold on, just had an idea. Sanfib, you guys remember the last time that I was on Rover, I walked a dog named Barry, and Barry loved cones. I have someone that has a ton of cones. Maybe I can ask them to borrow them, and I can give Barry an experience he's never had. My friend can do it. Now I just need to find the owner on Rover. Hopefully they respond back. He responded so fast. He said he can't send me the address. This is gonna be the best thing ever. Matt, do you know what the gift is Rebecca's giving Zadie? I have no idea, but it must be really nice if it's $500. $500 would get me in the holiday spirit. No, I'm not gonna give you any more money. Bah humbug. Ow, you're getting cold. Any minute, Barry is going to be arriving with his owner, and hopefully this gives him the best day ever. I mean, you know how much he loves cones. Oh my gosh, Barry. Oh, I think they're arriving. Hi. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you for having us. I think Barry's gonna be so excited. Oh my gosh, Barry has just noticed the codes. Let's see what he does. What's he doing? It's like he's scoping them out. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. I think Barry's just overwhelmed. He's never had this many cones in one place. Oh! oh. You gotta go home. Go on, Barry. He's a handful. That's yeah. the sure. <laughs> best day ever, okay. for sure. And I left you a nice tip on the app, oh, alrighty? Pleasure doing business with you, Barry. Uh, you wanna meet Zadie first? Say hi. Uh, Zadie's gotta go back in her stroller because we have a lot more activities, right? Barry's owner was so happy. He gave me a huge tip. But right now, I have not gotten any more requests on Rover, and I'm worried I won't hit that $500 before Zadie goes to sleep. So I need to think of something else. Sam fam, you guys remember last time I signed up for TaskRabbit. Hopefully it did not expire. It did it! So now I just need to look at what is trending so I can make the most amount of money and it looks like holiday caroling. And if you personalize it, you can make up to $100 just singing songs. I might have to ask a couple of my friends. I have two in mind. Sam fam, who do you think I am texting right now and let me see if they are in? Please be in, please be in. <gasps> They're both in! Well, it looks like I'm using this money and getting some caroling outfits. On a budget, of course. So I'm here at Goodwill, I have $35 to spend to get three holiday outfits so we can carol. Hopefully, I can find something good. Wish me luck, Zam fam. I have a couple options, but really it comes down to budget. I have to make sure I get three outfits. <gasps> I think I found the perfect one. Thank you. Now I have to see if anyone has submitted four carolers. <gasps> Someone did. It looks like their name is James. Hopefully, we'll make some more money. Thank you guys so much for coming. Matt already knows this, but I am trying to earn $500 to get Zadie a gift, and it said carolers, and so I was worried with just the two of us it might be bad, so. Who are we singing for? A guy named James. Here we go. Hello. Hey. Hi. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. James. Joy to the world, we're at James's house. Let her receive her king's sleigh. Well, thank you guys for the beautiful Christmas carols. You're welcome. I didn't realize it was James Charles we were going to. Yeah, baby, um, of course I hired a Christmas carol. Oh my gosh. Gotta get in the season. You can sing, though. Yeah, but it's more fun when other people are doing it. Matt can sing. You guys should oh. sing something. Silent night. That's great. Oh, oh, he's got a good voice. Night. Sleep in heavenly peace. Whoa. Oh, wow. Just trying to earn money for Zadie's gift. No big deal. Oh, $100? <laughs> Thank you! Subscribe to James if you have not, obviously. Say bye, Jean! Bye, Merry Christmas! Oh, she said bye! I cannot believe he gave me a hundred dollars! Zadie, we gotta earn some more money! You know, I have to get decorations set up. I'll give you two hundred dollars to do it. I think we're down. She might need a nap, but I'm good. Hey, Sam Fam, Zadie finally fell asleep. So, we're gonna try to do this, make some money while she's taking her nap. Rebecca! Hey! I'm so sorry. Zadie's sleeping. Hey, your jacket over there. 
that. And then you can put Zadie in my room over there. Oh my god, this is the perfect time. Zadie successfully still asleep. What do I need to do, Amanda? Here's all the stuff. All you need to do is pop the tree in, put cool. all the decorations around. Easy. I would really love it if you could get Panda in this. We got along great last time. Panda, you can't escape. Oh, oh this is a cool ornament. My grandma got it for me. Oh, it's like vintage. So why do you need to get this all set up right now? I have a date tonight. <gasps> With who, Amanda? I really have to be going. I'll see you later, okay? What? Goodbye. You better tell me when you get back. Okay, Sam Fam, it looks like I have an hour to decorate and to get Panda in this. Maybe I start with this. Oh, let's put you in a little outfit. Oh yeah, Panda. Got it. This is the easiest money I have ever made. I am back on track and ready to get that $500. Who do you think Amanda is going on a date with? Do you guys remember the last time that she was here on a date and I was helping her out what happened there? Before I forget, this is her grandma's ornament, so I'm gonna make sure it is displayed. I'm gonna put it like right there. Is it Oh no, there's no hook. I don't have that much time, so maybe if I just dump these, then they'll hold on the branches. Look, a couple of that actually work. Ah! Do not tell Amanda about that, Zampam. That's awkward. Oh no. I just broke it. There's no way she's going to pay me when I've destroyed this. But maybe I can fix it. Whoa, this isn't gonna work, but this might. If I don't get this job, I don't know how I'm gonna get that $500 for Zadie. I hope she just doesn't notice while I'm here. She's here. Hey. So, what do you wow. think? The place looks amazing. Yeah. I love the tree. Yeah. Check Panda out. Oh my gosh, you put his outfit on. I guess I can just get that money because uh, Zadie will be waking up soon. Yeah, but why didn't you hang this ornament? Oh, no. What happened? to it. I broke it. I am, I am so sorry. I know your grandma gave it to you. So you don't have to pay me if you don't want to. My grandma got this from Target. It's totally fine. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. Here's your $200. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. You're welcome. Thank if you. If there's anything else you need me to do, I'm trying to get 500 and I'm a little bit yeah. short, so just let me know in the next like 24 hours. I am having a date tonight. I know. If you want to serve like last time, I can pay you again. Yes, but who is your date? Do I really have to tell you? I mean, I'm gonna see them anyway, so spill the tea. What? Oh my gosh, Zam Fam. Thank you, Amanda. Bye, I'll see you later. Okay, Zam Fam, so far I have $300. If you want a chance to go in the money grab, meet us at the warehouse. Oh, <gasps> another reset challenge. I have a chance to win more money. Okay, ZD, mom has to earn some money, so you get to go in this little playpen. Oh my goodness, and mom's gonna give you some toys? Look, uh, oh yeah, I'll be back. This is reset challenge number two. Last to leave the ice block wins. Whoever wins gets to go in the money grab, but Rebecca, if you lose, your reset to one penny. Keep this fair, you have to take off your jacket. Fine, I'm not scared. Everybody sit on the count of three. One. Two, three. Oh man, it's cold. There are different challenges here, but we cannot see them. Rebecca, you pick first. Uh, no, this one seems crooked, so maybe this is a good one. Frozen t-shirt? This is a frozen t-shirt. You have to put it on for the rest of the challenge. Oh my gosh, oh, okay. hey, hey, hey. oh come no, no, no. on. How am I supposed to put this on? Use your muscles. You know what, I'm going next. Mm, I'm on. Maybe this guy. I see, remove a layer of clothing. Oh, take it off. Yeah. It's gonna get so cold. What did it say on the inside? Good luck. Oh my gosh, my butt is getting so cold right now. Doing shoes and socks. That smells okay. Um, <laughs> chug a bottle of cold water. Oh god. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Whatever you do, do not pee in here, please. I'll try not to. I just got too hot. That's how cool it was. Oh, Maddie, that looks so cold. It is. Here goes nothing. Chug, 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 chug. Ah! Did I just see it like a leotard? Are you good? Are you good? Mm. Is it cold? <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> you set up this challenge so you oh. know. Oh. I blocked down. Well, that was round one, but we're upping the stakes right now. Whatever challenge we pick, everyone has to do. I'm feeling cold, so I'm going with blue Ooh, for cold. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. No! Ah! It says two truths and a lie. Here are my two truths and a lie. I took a pregnancy test this week and it was negative. I took a pregnancy test this week and it was positive. And Zadie this morning said her first word. I think the lies that Zadie talked. Yeah, there's no way. I haven't heard a word from Zadie yet. You guys are right. That was the lie. But then was, was the pregnancy test positive? Negative? Well, it's two truths and a lie. That's all I'm saying. Who's up next? Matt. 
I secretly took a pregnancy test for Rebecca as well. I secretly <laughs> am doing 100 sit-ups a day. I've been secretly tracking Maddie on her phone. That is why you've not been tracking me on my phone. Mm, you know what? The lie is that he's been secretly doing 100 sit-ups a night. That's not true. I haven't been doing 100 sit-ups. Oh, I, know, I, I know. knew it. Obviously. You've been I mean, spying on me, Maddie? That's invading my privacy. <laughs> it's getting really cold here. Can we just calm down a little bit? What are you doing? Maddie! I thought I would just kind of help out everybody. What? I'm not helping anything! Oh my god. Oh my god. Maddie, your turn. I have a boyfriend. I made out with a boy in the last week and I graduate college this month. It's that you have a boyfriend. You do not have a boyfriend! You both are wrong. So what's the lie then? I don't have to tell you, but I'm getting really cold. So wait, wait, what? Getting up, uh, Maddie. You cold? Oh. If you tell me what the pregnancy test said, I'll what? tell you. What? No, Maddie, I'm not going to tell you okay. right now. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you? No, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm just so glad we didn't see him in a foliotar. And then there were two, Maddie. Pick something good. That's not too cold. Something that'll get you out. Ice bucket. Stick hand in ice bucket. <sighs> what are you doing after this to make money? I'm actually going over to Amanda. She has a date and she wants me to help her with it. Wait, a date with who? Well, I can't say. Is it Javier again? I can't say, Maddie. I promise I wouldn't say. She's still at the same house. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? No reason. You're up next. Luckily, this one's not a okay. group round. Please okay. be something warm like hot chocolate. Ice pack on hand. How's that feeling? It feels cold, but I'm not leaving. I'm going in that cash money. <laughs> My goggles. My eyes are freezing. Oh. oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. I am gonna go. Ice cube and minty gum. It's freezing, but I'll do it. I can't do this anymore. My eyes are cold. My eyes are cold. Oh yeah, I won. Mama's gonna make some money. Yeah, oh! Ah! That's much Leontar. Why does it smell? This is the money grab. You have 10 seconds to grab as much money as you can. Time starts now. Go. 10. Seventy-three, seventy-four. Congratulations, seventy-five dollars. Oh yes! I gotta get my jacket. I'm freezing. Mom's about to go to a dinner party so she can earn some more money, and you have another nap. So good, you made it. Yes, and Zadie is asleep again. She partied too hard in the last challenge. He's Mom's gonna be here in ten. Ten minutes. minutes. Let me put Zadie away. This is everything. It's his favorite. Okay. All I have to do is serve us. Easy. Easy. So I don't have to cook. I got this. And Amanda, you got my hot chocolate. Of Really? Support. Go to zamfam.com if you want this hot chocolate. Okay, so I got this. Just plate this, and then what do you want me serving for dessert? The cookies! I forgot to make the cookies! Okay. I set out everything and then just forgot. Rebecca, can you make them? I'll pay you an extra $25. Uh, oh, it um, just takes a second. Okay, yeah, that's super easy. He's here. Okay, I, I got this! Can't be that hard, right? I think the most important thing with cookies is that you add a lot of sugar. Hey! <laughs> oh, you... Smell delicious. I Thank mean, it smells you. delicious in here. You smell good too. Thank you. There's no flour. That's okay. We're gonna add a little milk, some butter, preheat oven, three, five. Oh, get them their food. I know how much you love Christmas, so I made sure all of this was set up for you. Look, that deer has a little scar. Yeah. Why are you so nervous? It smells so good, it looks so good. I just wanted to have a perfect night for us. And, and it's gonna be perfect. It smells like mashed potatoes. Okay. Everything's set. Now it's time for me to serve and make my money. It's beautiful in here. And I have someone special serving us tonight. If it's Santa, I have a restraining order. Mm -hmm. Hello! Surprise, <laughs> it's me, Isaac! Hey! Here's your silverware. Thank you, please don't tell your cousin. Huh? What was that about? I just said a little more mashed potatoes for the plate. Okay. That was kind of awkward. Did you hear what Isaac said to me? He was like, don't tell your cousin. Thank God she is not here right now. Remember what happened last time? I just want this to be perfect so I can get that money and finally get the gift for Zadie. I probably shouldn't be eating this, but I'll go check on them. These mashed potatoes are so good. Just wait till you see what we're having for dessert. Chocolate chip cookies? Yes. Yes, my favorite. It's a door. Oh. Javier? What What's he doing here? What am I doing here? I'm on a date. What are you doing? You're on a yeah. date with my girl? With your girl? We broke up. We didn't break up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I need to make sure that this goes great, so I just realized I forgot to serve yeah, some I need water. To... He's are taking you kidding my me? Food. There's more food, so I'll just be back with the food. You guys yeah. just hang yeah, out. Good. We can all be happy. Things cannot get worse, Zam fam. Her ex boyfriend showed up, and I have to make sure that everything goes smoothly so that I can get. Maddie, who, who are you going to date with? Tell what are you who doing? Is Going on another date with you? Hey, 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 no, 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 no,
I'm a good guy. You're on a date with two guys we that broke up. No, we didn't have breakups. You broke up just like that. You broke up with me. Please start dating. This is fine. Yeah, this, this is, is so, so fine. Where's dessert? You don't get dessert. You, you, get some you can have some dessert. Maddie! And this is where you're asking to go on a date with me tomorrow night. You're up. Enjoy them now. You're going on a date with Maddie tomorrow? Stay calm. What's that burning smell? Oh no! The cookies! My the cookies! Cookie. Oh, no! 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 I was supposed to get the rest of the money so I could get the gift for Sadie. I, I have her favorite! Cookie, anyone? I'm the cookie! I'm the one. Everyone just get out of my house! Rebecca, get I need to talk to you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not again. What am I gonna wear to my next date? Oh well. Amanda, I'm really sorry about the cookies. I did not mean to burn them. I know. The cookies were your fault, but the rest wasn't. I can't pay you for the cookies, but here's your hundred dollars for helping with the rest. Thank you. I understand. I just don't get how Maddie knew I was on a date. Me either. The sun's going down and it is almost Zadie's bedtime. I don't know how I'm gonna get that $25 that I was supposed to get until I burnt the cookies. I really wanted her to have that gift so I could show her what the holidays are all about. Something's in here. What? 25? $25 was in my pocket, Zimpim. I don't know how that happened, but it is a miracle. I got the $500, now I just need to get back so I can purchase the gift. Zadie, mom worked all day so she could get the $500 gift for you. Well, guess what, Zadie? You have officially adopted a family. And now that $500 is going to go and buy gifts for a family that really needs it. I love you so much, and I can't wait to spend our first Christmas together. Mm -hmm. Holidays can be tough, but it's not about the gifts you get, it's what you give. And you can't put a price tag on that.